All right, what is up, everybody? Shadow Scout 13 here coming in for a, another list build. And I'm going to come on, come up with a fun one. I mean, everybody gets the Commander Luke in the starter box. So I think majority of everybody at the moment, well, I'm sure everybody who has ever bought the boxes so far, because the Battle Force boxes haven't come out yet. So I'm sure everyone who's ever gotten one of the Rebellion boxes has a Luke, Commander Luke. So with the new Battle Forces coming out, I figured, and especially with the special edition or limited edition Luke and the Hoth or in his, you know, pilot uniform on Hoth, that we can make, you know, a simple little Hoth theme Battle Force list because I'm sure it will include him because, I mean, why would they also make a limited edition Luke basically on Hoth if they're not going to include him in a, you know, Battle Force for Hoth? So, Let's just try, I'm just try to make one for him. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. If I make a mistake like I did in the last video, I'm going to go ahead and correct that now. In the last Battle Force video with Rex, I said that you could get gain dodges from the fire support. Not true. Sorry. My fault. I'm definitely not 100% every single time. Hopefully, I'm trying to be. So I'm trying to get everything accurate as much as I can. But all of those comments are really, really appreciated down below because... If I'm wrong and the people who are looking through the comments see this, then it answers questions too as well. So I'm very, very happy that people will comment that stuff below all, all the time. So, all right. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into Luke. So Luke Skywalker, he's 160 points. He's got jump one. So that's that's good. He To me, he kind of, I'll get back to a second. To me, he kind of seems like one of the generic jedis that you could possibly see come out in the future for the gar for Re the republic you might just get some that have charge deflect immune to pierce and jump one i feel like that is a kind of like what you might see most jedi from the republic have now they might have some sort of mastery as well or they might be able to do something possibly but it kind of depends and then they, they might have this no master of the force possibly, but okay, that's a side note. Now he's got charge. So after perform a move action, you can perform a free melee. All right. So that's really, really good. So he can do his double move and then charge. He's got deflect, which is great because he doesn't surge to defense, but he's got a red defense dice. So gaining that surge to defense after spinning a dodge will really, really, really help. And immune to pierce. So pierce cannot be used against you. He doesn't have master of the force. So you're with the two slots, you're not going to be able to recover them unless you recover yourself. So if you take a recover action, then yes, you can gain those back. But for the most part, if you're trying to move, move and get him into melee as fast as possible, then you're you're probably not going to want to take too many stuff that recovers, but you can. I mean. I'm going to take something that recovers on him. So yeah. And then a gear slot. And then he's got six dice for melee, which is awesome. So he's going to charge, you know, move, move, and then throw six black dice with surge to crit, impact to pierce to. So it's really, really good. I mean, I think that's a really great melee character. He's also got a ranged attack, which is pierce too. So if you just, if there's no cover, if you take away all cover, he doesn't have sharpshooter or anything, but with surging to crit, hopefully, if you can get two crits, there's two gone. So that's awesome. Six health, three courage. So it's a pretty good commander commander courage because three is pretty high. So we're going to go with him. And for the sake of it, I'm also going to go with Leia because she was also there. You're going to get her in the Hoth Battle Force. She's going to have take cover two, so she's going to be able to give out some dodge tokens two dodge tokens to up to two friendly units and then or a dodge token to two you know friendly it's just in take cover choose up yeah choose up two up to two sorry inspired two so you can rally during your rally you can remove up to two suppression tokens from other friendly units at range one two nimble so she's gonna be able to keep her dodge tokens at the after she's shot but then you know all the dodge tokens will disappear at the end of the round unless she's got vigilance and she maybe keep sit on herself or luke or two core we'll see and then sharpshooter two so there's no cover ever with with her and that's awesome and she's got pierce one surging to crit with three black at range one to two but usually still 
you're going to need aims with these blacks, in my opinion. And she's not bad in melee. I mean, if, I think that's pretty good. She's got two commander slots. So if you really, really wanted, you for non hoth you could do, you know, allies of convenience and vigilance. So that way you can take a lot of units for the Shadow Collective. She's also got six health, just two courage, though. And white defense dice with surged defense. So you want to keep her kind of um, hidden. But she's a really good support. Very, very good support. Not so much an attacker. All right. And I'm going with R2 as well. Because for R2, secret mission is always going to be great. He was also on Hoth for a little bit. And he went with Luke off of Hoth. So we're going to include him. And he's in the Battle Force box. So yeah. Let's go ahead and start upgrading these guys. So. So there's a few different options that you can choose for him, obviously. Battle Meditation would be good if you are just taking him. So with, with Leia and uh, with, with Leia or other commanders, maybe not. But if it's just him, Battle Meditation would actually be pretty good because you don't have to recover it, and it's a good force slot to be able to give an order out. So when, you're, when, you, when Luke is issuing orders using one of his command cards, you can issue one of those orders to any friendly unit on the battlefield instead of the unit indicated on the command card. So that's pretty cool, but we don't need it. We've got Leia and a bunch of other stuff. So I think Burst of Speed, because he's also got Charge, would be great. It's not a recovering one, but it's going to be able to get him in, and it's cheap. So I'm definitely going with Burst of Speed. And then the other one, um, so Force Push would be great. Force Reflexes would be great. You don't need Hope for Inspire One, because Leia's already going to have it. And really, Luke is just my melee-oriented person in this list. Jedi Mind Trick, I'm not going to take the command card where you know, you're going to be able to control an enemy or one of your own if they're suppressed, if it's an enemy. So I'm not going to take that. Force lift, you're really going to want to recover that all the time. This one, you're going to want to recover all the time. That one, you're going to want to recover all the time. So honestly, it's just kind of between these two because you don't need a, a range attack. You've already got one. So I'm going to go with force reflexes because it's also pretty cheap. And then again, just in case he doesn't have it recovered or something happens, I think prepared supplies would be also good on him. Now, you don't have to have it, but that's just up to you. For Leia, obviously, I'm going to go with Vigilance because Rebels thrive on defense or dodge tokens. So I'm going with that one. Now, if you wanted none for Hoth, you could go with Allies of Convenience. It's pretty cool. But really, that's probably the only thing that I would put on her. And then to, in order to hand out more dodge tokens, you can go with Portable Scanner. So we'll try that. I'm going to leave R2 naked. And then let's go ahead and for Hoth, let's go with the Rebel Veterans and the Mark II Medium Blaster. So I'm going to kind of go over these. So the Rebel Veterans just have coordinate and placement troopers. After, after you are issued an order, you can issue an order to a friendly and placement trooper at range one. And then after they get an order, they're going to gain a dodge. And then they've got tons of upgrades, which is really, really cool. Makes sense for veterans. And then they're surging on both. They've only got one courage. I think it would be cool too, but makes sense, to, you know, obviously for this, I'm not gonna change anything. And then surging black dice at range one to three, really, really, really good. I like these guys. And then the Mark II is also really nice because with the Mark II, they're going with the veterans. They've got fire support. So, you know, any guard player and everyone pretty much knows fire support. If you have a phase up order token, you can add your weapon to the attack pool. And then if you do, you're going to have to flip your order token face down. <clears throat> so it's not an attack, but it is adding your dice pool to the attack with critical two. And yeah, so I think that this is pretty cool to have just in case you need it. You might not need to fire support it. It's got full pivot. So after when you pivot, you can pivot up to 360. So, you know, turn all the way around. You can reposition for free. And then Sentinel, if you take a standby, you're going to be able to shoot at range one to three if someone you know triggers that standby so we're going to go ahead and go with one of those and for the rebel veterans i'm going to go ahead and equip the heavy the range one to four which was upgraded i like that a lot range uh, one to four critical two with four white and they're already surging anyway so if you got three surges by chance at least you could change two of those to crits and we're going to add another one of those guys so now we kind of have a gun line to be able to protect, and we also have at least some Rebel Veterans to move and gain objectives if we need. Leia can still gain objectives if we need to as well, but yeah, we're going to just stop, uh, pause the 
rest of the core at the moment. We need some melee, some more melee. Although we have Luke, let's continue to get into the Hoth theme and go with some Tauntauns. So they're going to have Agile 1. So after you perform a standard move, you're going to get in Dodge. So if you move, move, that's two Dodge tokens that you're gaining. They've also got Relentless. So after you perform a move action, you can perform a free attack action. And they have a, an arranged attack of one to two, two red dice. And then since there's two of them in the unit, you're shooting four red dice. Reposition, so either before or after you perform a standard move, you can perform a free pivot. So if you just need to you know, turn 90 degrees, that's free. And then you can do your move, move, and then free shoot. Sharpshooter one, so you're going to be able to take away cover by one. And then unhindered, so you ignore the dif uh, difficult terrain. That's <clears throat> really awesome because they're moving speed three. You don't want them hindered. So, yeah, that's really, really nice. They've got four health each, which is really cool because they're going to gain two dodge tokens. They surge to defense with white defense dice, so they're still going to go down pretty quick if you put them out in the open too much. And then two courage. They can tr take a training and comms. So at the moment, what I would do is go with up close and personal for me in this one, in this list, just because since they have a range one to two attack and there's two of them, if you split fire, you could probably gain another two dodges. So total, if you moved, moved, and then you split fire, you're going to have four dodges at least. Okay. So that's something. They have a pretty good melee too. So, you know, two black and a white, and then you combine that you're getting, you know, four black, two, white, ram, two. So, yeah, that's, in, in my opinion, really, really cool. And then with ram, it's, I think, after you perform a full, let's see, yeah, there it is. While you're performing an attack during the modify attack die step, you may change X amount of attack die results to crit results if you performed at least one full standard move at max speed during the same activation. So, if you were to do a full three speed three move and land in base contact, you're going to be able to use your relentless and ram. So, and we're going to just double that to make that two. We still have quite a few points left. So, when I'm looking at this now, so what I see are some support units that are just going to kind of like get into melee as fast as they can, or at least disrupt something on the side. You've got Luke kind of going in for melee, you've got Leia helping the rebel veterans and the medium blaster, maybe still in somewhat range of Luke so that she can still use vigilance in case he has a dodge token left on him. And then you still have R2 just going off on his own as well. So I don't feel like I have got the most amount of units that are troopers that can do some other holding. So honestly, and for, for you know, Hoth, I would maybe want another core and I'd probably just go with another rebel veteran unit. And so 791, you still got, you know, nine points to be able to do with what you want. You could give up some training upgrades to them if you wanted. Honestly, I want some extra firepower. So I'm just going to go with another rebel veteran. So 10 activations, super Hoth theme. You've got commander Luke to be able to go in and just kind of go after people in melee with the Tauntaun Riders. And then you've got your Rebel Veteran gun line with kind of Leia supporting them, giving out some dodge tokens. If they get an order, they're going to get a dodge. Then she can hand out more dodges. But that's just depending on if you're able to get them in order. Because let's go check out some orders. You, we have Luke. And Luke is very important. And he's got really good command cards. So I feel like taking his Son of Skywalker card would be great because if he can burst of speed into melee, maybe you used Son of Skywalker because you know that if you use burst of speed, you're going to be able to get into melee. So you, you lay down your Son of Skywalker, you burst of speed into melee, you get two attack actions. So that's pretty cool. And then I would take that one, but it's only giving it to Luke. So obviously the rest of them are kind of out to dry. And then Leia, I would go with Leia's bombardment because three attacks at range four to infinity with two red, well, it can take out some strike teams possibly, especially on the rebel or empire side. So I think that this is a good one. I mean, I don't think, you know, you serve your master well would be good, but we're not taking anything that's going to give out the suppression on him just in case. And you can't, maybe they aren't suppressed. It, 
there are good ways to use this. I'm just not going to use it at the moment. I'd rather go with coordinated bombardment and kind of use that as like an opening thing to kind of go ahead and thin out some of the strike teams. I think my allies, the force is really good. So with push, what I'm looking at is it's two units, but so can I kind of get two units in this with benefits? So two troopers, two troopers, I, you can do the two support or heavies and they gain inspire too, just in case they're out on their own. But for me, I would rather do the friendly trooper unit after they get an order, they can perform a free speed one move because maybe it's hostage exchange, maybe it's bombing run, maybe there's something that you need to do to move. So I would go with that one for sure. And then honestly, my allies, the force where they're just going to gain dodge tokens and you're giving up to two people instead of just one, unless you really feel like you're going to be using Luke aggressively, maybe use full of surprises at that point. But for me, I think my, my ally is the force, two troopers. It doesn't specify who, but they're going to gain dodge tokens. So maybe you give it to Luke. Maybe you give it to a rebel veteran. They're going to be able to coordinate to a, a Mark II, but the rebel veterans are going to gain a dodge and then a dodge from this. So there's lots of good ways to be able to use that car as well. So yeah. Return of the Jedi. After Luke is issued an order, he gains dodge, which is you know always what you really want to do with Luke anyway. And then when Luke activates, each friendly trooper unit at range one to three of him may remove a suppression. So it, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like inspired three in a way. So, but it's range one to three. So that's cool. I think that's going to help. And then Leia's with inspire two, you're getting rid of suppression a lot. So just in case there is a CIS or an empire list or someone that's trying to put out suppression, you definitely are going to be able to kind of get rid of it with these cards and, you know, with Leia. So I'd go with that one. It's three units. Luke gains a dodge. Perfect. And then you could go with covering fire because you have five core. And maybe you went with that first. You gave it to your three rebel veterans, and two of those veterans were able to maybe coordinate to the medium blaster. So now all of your core units have, you know, orders. So maybe the only thing that's left to have orders are your two Tauntauns, your two commanders, and R2. So you kind of got some sort of order control. So that's really good. You could go with that one, like I said, or I would go with somebody has to save our skins because maybe you need that. After Leia Organa's activation, you can choose another friendly unit at range one to two with a phase order token and activate it. So maybe you gave it to Leia, maybe you gave it to Luke, and you decide to, you know, use Leia as soon as you can to maybe give take away some suppression or give out some dodges to Luke. And then maybe you immediately get to go with Luke and then you use burst of speed after you know, you've given him a dodge and then go from there. I, you know, there's lots of ways, but I would go with somebody has to save our skins because it's still three units. So yeah, and then you'll be red player with 800 points. Maybe if you don't want 800 points, you don't have to, and you wanted to do some sort of objectives, you could go with key positions wouldn't be that bad because you have, you know, the uh, Mark twos helping and then Recover the supplies wouldn't be that bad. Sabotage the motion evaporators would be okay. Hostage exchange would be good with Leia. Okay, bombing run would be good with Leia. And then, then that's your, you know, three. All right, one second.
And then for the last one, again, like payload would be okay. Um, and recover the supplies. Maybe uh, sabotage some evaporators. Why not? So I would also say bombing run because the Tauntaun Riders are going to be super fast. They're speed three. And then Luke Skywalker, you could go with have him because he's got burst of speed so maybe you get it in as fast as you can and with dodges and deflect maybe you're able to do a lot honestly with bombing run but yep all right guys that is it hopefully you guys enjoyed it go ahead and like subscribe and leave a comment below of what you liked what you would change maybe anything like that if i got anything wrong just go ahead and let me know but i will catch you guys in the next video and yeah y'all have a good rest of your day